So in the last video, we talked about willingness to pay and willingness to sell. In this video, we're going to use the idea of willingness to pay to actually measure consumer surplus. Consumer surplus is the net benefit that a consumer receives from purchasing a good or service, and that's measured by the difference in willingness to pay and the actual price. So we can measure this consumer surplus if we know the market price. We go back to our Jason Moore example. We say the market price for a ride from Brussels to Paris is $6,000. We can draw a line here at $6,000. That's our market price. Now we can measure the consumer surplus of each of these individuals. So we'll start with Jason Bourne. He's a wanted man internationally, and he's willing to pay $10,000. If he can get a ride for $6,000, that means his consumer surplus is the difference in this $10,000 and this $6,000 price here. So he has a consumer surplus of $4,000. Okay. If we keep moving out, uh, you're wanted in Brussels, your willingness to pay is $7,500, and you can get a ride for $6,000, so your consumer surplus would be $1,500. Now, if we move down here to this next person, whose car broke down and is willing to pay $5,000 to get there in time for the birth of his first child, but the price is $6,000, they will not be in the market. And they're not going to spend $6,000 on something they're only willing to pay $5,000 for. So they're not in the market. They don't have any consumer surplus because they aren't purchasing a ride. Let's say the price drops to $4,000. Then we can look at the consumer surplus of each of these individuals again, right? Jason Bourne would get the difference in $10,000 and $4,000. So we would have a $6,000 consumer surplus. The next person who's wanted in Brussels would have a difference of $7,500 and $4,000. So he would have $3,500 and this person whose car broke down would be able to get to Paris and they would have a $1,000 consumer surplus. Okay. The person who's hunting for buried treasure, again, would not be in the market. They would not be purchasing a ride to Paris because their reservation price is $3,000. They're not willing to pay 4000 